Number 36 is MLM attorney Jerry Nera. There are some MLM attorneys in direct selling that you should really know. Jerry is one of those people. Jerry has history that so impacts direct selling. He was around, the, he was really part of a group when Amway was going through some of their legal challenges. Uh, he was part of that council that helped deliver uh, some very important legislation for all of us here in direct selling so we can continue to do what we do. So if it wasn't for people like Jerry behind the scenes, someone you probably have never even heard of, you may not even be in business today. So Jerry Nearer comes in at number 35 in the 2010 Power 50. Number 35 D. Jack Smith, another MLM attorney. D. Jack Smith, if you go to Direct Selling Live, in the very first video, we've been running it for some time because I think you should really hear what this guy has to say and really know about his history. Years ago, D. Jack was approached by a guy uh, who asked him if he could help him with some MLM law. Well, at this time, DJAC knew nothing about MLM law. In fact, there was no MLM law on the books. So when this guy came to DJAC and asked him to do it, what he set in motion was the mechanism that it delivers a lot of the legal uh, issues and whether it handles a lot of legal issues in direct selling. Because DJAC is the one who went around to almost every state in the United States and help craft MLM law. So if he didn't do it, I almost, well, I know for a fact, we probably would not be having this conversation today. One of the nicest, nicest people in the world, also one of the donators on the scavenger hunt. And so was uh, Jerry Nero. Number 34, the MLMIA, the Multi-Level Marketing International Association. The multi-level, uh, uh, the MLMIA, Multi-Level Marketing International Association, this was a special year for them. This was their 25th anniversary. So we all should be giving a big, big thumbs up to the MLMIA for being around for 25 years and serving us as an industry with such positive energy in the way that they do. They are a unique association in that they handle all three aspects of direct selling. They deal with corporations, they deal with distributors, and they deal with vendors. That's kind of rare They're, when, when you talk about associations. That's really their niche. They can handle all of it. So the MLMIA comes in at number 34. So what do you guys think so far? 16 down. Any surprises? I know if you made the list, you're really, really happy. And I know if you made the list and you're in California, you need to be happy because you got up early. So congratulations. The 2010 Power 50, the announcement show, we're excited about it. This is a live telecast of an, of an award show in direct selling that celebrates those power players in direct selling. So, let's move forward, shall we? Number 33 is the woman herself, Doris Wood, co-founder of the MLMIA, also along with the MLMIA, celebrating her 25th year as co-founder and the um, person leading the charge over there at the MLMIA. Doris has been in direct selling for 52 years. 52 years? Gee whiz, that's a long time. That's longer than I've been on the planet. But Doris, I love Doris. I go out and I visit Doris, I talk to Doris. She is just an absolute sweetheart. She also gave to the scavenger hunt. In fact, she gave something really, really unique. So for you five uh, uh, people who won the scavenger hunt, she's, this, this is what she did. This is the type of person that she is. 
She gave away two of her best-selling books, but over the next two years, any time those five people who won the scavenger hunt set foot in Southern California, all they have to do is call Doris and she will take each of them out to lunch at her favorite restaurant. Doris is a party plan expert. She's a compensation plan expert. Doris knows it all. Been there, done that. That's what Doris is all about. So Doris makes the list. Number 32, John Maxwell, leadership expert. Once again, uh, a return visit. John is just one of the top leadership coaches, not only direct selling, but his business goes well beyond direct selling. He's really um, a, a leader when it comes to executives through, throughout the world in just about any industry. John Fleming, John Fleming, John Maxwell, excuse me, John Maxwell has been doing this for a long, long, long time. So he's one of those people who really can tell you what it takes to be a leader in just about any aspect of life or business uh, for that matter. So John Maxwell, he comes in at number 32. Moving over to number 31, Big Al, Tom Schreider. Tom just keeps on going. I don't know how old Tom is. Tom is probably like Doris, been in this thing for 40, 50 years. But Tom has some of the best books and information on how to build a network marketing business. It's so simple the way he puts it together. It's too, it's too simple. And he has fun with it. He shows you a great way of learning. And he makes it very, very simple for you to understand it. So then you can take it into your business and help you grow your business. Tom Schreider, uh, he, in, a, in, a, in a lot of ways, he's a very good humanitarian. Uh, but his, his success dictates that he be on this list. So Tom Schreider, one of the very, very, very top trainers in all of direct selling history, comes in at number 31. So there you have it. There is the first... 20. The first 20. There are 30 more to go. I'm really curious how many of you are watching hoping that you're on this list and how many of you are watching expecting to be on the list. See, because of our Power 50, it changes every year. What you did the previous year means nothing. It only matters what you've done this, during this 12-month period. And like I said, that's what allows a new person to come in and make some serious impact in a positive way, make the list. Last year, we had Ludacris on the list because of the work that he was doing with his fans and over there with Zango. Some powerful, powerful stuff. And that's really what we're all about. What type of impact did you have on direct selling during this past 12 months? Well, what do you think? Should we move on to the last 30? Uh, I'm not getting much from my cheering section. What do you think, guys? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like been on the Leno show, I guess. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs>